Well, millions of people gathered in cities across the globe on Wednesday for International Women's Day. Protesters took to the streets demanding equality and higher wages. Fox News correspondent Alex Hogan has more. People around the world gathering to mark International Women's Day on Wednesday at the White House. First Lady Jill Biden honored those making a difference in nearly a dozen different countries with the International Women of Courage Award. We're here to tell girls everywhere the truth that they need to hear. Yes, you matter. Yes, you can make a difference. South Korea saw hundreds take to the streets calling for an end to gender discrimination, while in Spain, people marched against a law that's led to reduced sentences for men convicted of sexual abuse. <laughs> and in the Philippines, protesters clashed with authorities in front of the presidential palace demanding higher wages and better jobs. Calling and asserting our right and our freedom of association and the right to organize uh, in order to fight for our Demands. This year's International Women's Day also had a heightened focus on areas suffering from conflict, including Afghanistan, where the Taliban banned girls from attending higher education. Women here cannot practice their rights and celebrate because we cannot go to school. While in Ukraine, President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked women for their contributions to his country's fight against Russia. To all the women who work, teach, study, heal and fight for Ukraine. Together we are free and together we will definitely win. More than a dozen countries recognize International Women's Day as an official holiday. In London, Alex Hogan, Fox News.